Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 5. We have discussed the point of discontinuity. It's a point where the function is not continuous, obviously. So, here are different kind of questions where we are asked to find all the points of discontinuity. All the points of discontinuity for this function. So, if you see, this guy is a polynomial function and this guy is also a polynomial function. But the place where it change is 2. So, 2 is one place where we can find the point of discontinuity. This is by my experience, I can tell that I'm doubtful whether this guy is continuous or not at x is equal to 2. For other values of x, it looks to be continuous. Why? Because for x is greater than 2, it is a polynomial function. For x is less than or equal to 2 also, it's a polynomial function. But these are different polynomial function. So there is a chance that at x is equal to 2, the function is not continuous. But the function will be continuous at other values. That is what by my experience I can tell just by looking at the question. But that's not how you have to do in the examination. In the examination, since we have two at the break point, so I can say I can divide this into two buckets. The value of c can be, oh, I'll start from the right hand side, less than two, that is start from minus infinity to two, c is equal to two and c is greater than two. Correct? Because if you see, the range is from minus infinity to plus infinity. Correct? So what I am doing is, my 2 was a point of contention. So what I told is, let me start from minus infinity to 2. Then 2. So here, this is included 2. And then, from this guy to infinity. Here, 2 is not included. Correct? So, I have divided into 3 buckets. So we can take one by one. So let's take the case one. Case one where c is less than two. If c is less than two, my function is nothing but two x plus three. Correct? So if this is my function, just by looking at the function, I can tell that this has to be continuous because the polynomial function, polynomial function are generally continuous for any value less than 2. We take any value less than 2, we can take 1, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. This will be continuous. Why? Because f of c, you take c, any value less than 2, will be nothing but 2c plus 3. And the limit will exist for this. Limit of fx or x tends to c will exist and that guy will also be 2c plus 3. Why? Because the polynomial function and these are equal. fx x tends to c limit is equal to f of c for any value less than 2 because c is a polynomial function. So I can say that for any value less than 2 the function is continuous. This part is done. Second part is this guy c is equal to 2 case 2 c is equal to 2. So let's do this. c is equal to 2. I have to find left hand limit and right hand limit here. Why? Because first I have to find that the limit exists amount because there is a change here. There are two different functions. The moment you go on the left hand side of 2 and the moment you go on the right hand side of 2. So let's find the left hand limit first for this is nothing but x tends to minus f of x. So let's take a value less than 2 to 2.00001, 2 minus 0 0.001. This value is nothing but a number just less than 2. So for this, if I use this, I have to use this equation because this equation holds true for number less than 2. So this becomes 2 into 2 minus 0 0.00001 into 3 plus 3. So this is almost equal to is almost equal to 2, 2 into 2, 4 plus 3, 7. So this guy becomes 
7. Let's find the right hand limit. There will be limit x tends to 2 plus here. Why plus? Because I am finding right hand limit. I am approaching this function from the right hand side. So this is f of 2 plus some value. Some number. Small number. So that is a number just greater than 2. So for this, if I'm num my number is just greater than 2, I have to use this equation. So this becomes 2 into 2 plus 0 0.000001 minus 3 here. Please note it is minus 3. This is nothing but almost 2 into 2, 4 minus 3. That is 1. So if you see, both these values are not equal. So left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit. So in that case, my limit itself doesn't exist. So if my limit doesn't exist, the question of equating that limit to f of c is not there. So I can say that the function is not continuous at c is equal to 2. Correct? So c less than 2 continuous, c is equal to 2, not continuous. Now let's try for case 3. c is greater than 2. For c is greater than 2, my fx becomes 2x minus 3. Here also if you see it's a polynomial function, so it has to be continuous. Why? Because for polynomial function, we know that limit exists. x tends to c, any number c, that will become f of c. Limit exists and that is equal to f of c. So, so thus for this case, we can say that for c greater than 2, the limit is continuous. c is equal to 2, it's not continuous. And for c greater than 2, also it's continuous. So the whole function is discontinuous only at c is equal to 2. Let's take one another example. Here also, similar to the last example, here also we have equation. And we have to find all the point of discontinuity for this. So we know that uh, equation can be discontinuous at multiple points. So here also we have to find the discontinuity of this. So what we can observe here is the whole thing can be divided into this part here minus infinity to 2 and then 2 and then 2 to infinity. Why? Because you see at x is equal to 2 the equation change. Till x is equal to 2 you have this equation. The moment you increase the value of x more than 2, the equation change. So 2 is my point of contention here. So I have three faces here. I can take points that are from minus m a to 2. I can take point that is equal to 2 and I can take points those are greater than 2. So I have three cases c less than 2, c equal to 2 and c greater than 2. Please note it is never less than equal to because I took equal to 2 here. So it's always less than 2, equal to 2 and greater than 2 because we have divided the whole domain of this function in three parts. Now if you take case 1, c is less than 2. If c is less than 2, I have this equation. So my fx is nothing but x cube minus 3. And this is a polynomial function. I know polynomial functions, for polynomial functions, limit exists and they are continuous. So just I can tell that limit of oh, x tends to c of fx in this case is equal to fc. Why? Because you take any number, if this is my equation, it, it is continuous. So I can say that for c less than 2, my function is continuous. Why? Because it's a polynomial function. So for polynomial function, I know we have done this couple of times. So if you want, you can do still do with the for this. You can take any point that is less than 2 and try to find the limit. You will see that it exists and that is equal to fc. Let's take case 2 where c is equal to 2. So here we have to check whether limit exists or not because the equation is changing. So let's find the left hand limit it is nothing but x tends to 2 minus fx. 
So if you take any value that is just less than 2, it is 1.99999, correct? This value is just less than 2. So for this, the moment I take this value, I use this equation. So this becomes 1.99999 q minus 3. It's almost equal to 2 q minus 3, correct? And there is nothing by 8 minus 3 and that becomes 5. So my left hand limit is 5 here. Let's talk about the right hand limit. Talking about right hand limit, I'm talking about a function where x tends to 2 plus because I'm approaching this guy from the right hand side of fx. So any number just greater than 2, I'll take 2.00001. So this becomes, the moment I take a number greater than 2, I have to use this function now. So there's nothing but 2.00001 square plus 1. Please note x square plus 1. In this case, it was x cube minus 3. So this becomes almost equal to 2 to the power 2, 4 plus 1, that is 5. So in this case, if you see the left hand limit and the right hand limit is same. And that's a rare case. Generally, it is not same. And in this case, it is same. I can say that the limit exists. I can say that limit x tends to 2, fx exists and that value is 5. So if this limit exists, the second thing is that to prove it is continuous or not, I have to check whether this guy is equal to f of 2. So what is the value of f of 2? The moment I take 2, you can't use this equation because this is for x greater than 2. We can use this equation because this equation for x less than equal to 2. So this becomes x cube that is 2 cube minus 3 that is 8 minus 3 that is 5. So if you see now here, this guy is equal to this guy. Here also they are equal and here also they are equal. Since they are equal, I can say that my function is continuous at x is equal to 2. So what I have seen, for less than 2 it is continuous, for x is equal to 2 also it is continuous. Now take the case 3 where c is greater than 2. The moment c is greater than 2, I have this equation x square plus 1. So fx becomes x square plus 1. This guy is also a polynomial function. So I can say that this guy is also continuous. You take any value of c that is less than greater than 2 and you take this limit that will always become f of c. So that is we can say that this guy is continuous at all the places where c is greater than 2. So this is also continuous. So I can say that overall the function is continuous. Continuous at all points. Correct? So you take any point the function is continuous. There is no point of discontinuity. So we have to find all points of discontinuity. You can say that no point of discontinuity exists. Please note, in this case, not even a single point of discontinuity exists. Why? Because we can see clearly that the function is continuous at all points in its domain and there is no point of discontinuity. Let's thank you. Visit examfear.com to Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.